Happy Tuesday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit. Thanks to anyone that's new that's checking out my video. Hope you stick around and become part of my family. And welcome back to all my wonderful subscribers. And speaking of wonderful subscribers, I'm up to 705 in my family. So Today has been a bit better than yesterday. The morning wasn't so great. Um, I just kind of still woke up in a blah mood. You know, but that's okay. Max spent the morning singing to me. He does this, I'm not sure what it is, but he it's always at night, as soon as I go to bed, he starts singing. And that goes the song of his people. And he did it all morning. And it's like he would go into another room, you know, he acts like he's in another like he's lost. But he will walk right up to me and stare at me while I'm doing it. And if I say, you know, I ask him what I'll go ask Max what's wrong. And he'll stop for about 10 seconds and then start again. Pet him, he'll stop. And then he walks away and starts crying. But when I was in Mexico, he sang to, he sang to David constantly. He's a noisy little guy. Except now he's all curled up so cute on the couch. And little miss is in the lava head and Max is just curled up on the couch. They have other little beds. I'm not sure why they're doing that today, but, you know, they're cats. We will never understand them. So, I did get my shelf that I showed you yesterday. I got it hung. The, it's only two screws holding that. And, I mean, it, but it's just for knickknacks, and there's not any heavy knickknacks on there or anything. But the very top, they have the, the drywall anchors. The very top one. Tapped it in, got it in place. You know, I didn't drill the hole too big or anything. As soon as I went to put the screw in, it popped all the way through. And so it was just not wanting to do anything. So I got some Gorilla Glue. And put, filled the hole with that. Put it there because I figured, okay, it's, it expands. It'll work on it. You know, we'll see how it goes. So far, it's doing good. I have my automatic air freshener. You know, the, the one that... Decided it was going to try and be automatic breath spray freshener. Um, a stuffed frog. And my little rose in a dome. And one, two, three other little frog figurines that have, that were acquired in Mexico trips. So that's all that's up on that. So it's doing good. Cats don't seem to, they sniffed at it. But then that was it. They haven't tried getting on or anything. So I think we'll be good there. So, and there's no mail call today. My mail, I got two pieces of mail. One was a thing from State Farm trying to sell me insurance. And the other was a pre-approval for a credit card that I just shredded in later. So, but I am, like I mentioned, I'm at 705 fam um, family members. So, that's exciting. I am, you know, I never thought I would get this many. You know, of course, you know, the goal for everyone, you know, is to get to a minimum of a thousand so that we can get monetized. And so if you could, if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you can go ahead and subscribe. And I would also, if you could share me out to your friends, um, just let them know, hey, you know, there's a guy that crochets and sometimes he's funny and his cats frequently are on his videos, although they're not going to be today because they're being peacefully sleeping. But, you know, sometimes a cat's on the video, so there's there's cats to look at, there's knitting, there's a guy just being goofy. Um, so, there's my kitchen in the background. You know, and I am planning on doing some challenges, and not challenges, but just different things. Um, I, I do have something I want to do, some different tutorials I want to try, some... Kind of fun challenges, um, not like, you know, I mean, there there are people that are doing like, you know, we had the ice 2020 challenge or 2020 ice shards challenge. We had the, there's the gray square challenge going on now. And I mean, they're not really going to be like that. They're more of kind of a, you know, more, you know, funny type things like, um, when I flew back from Cozumel, the first flight, I couldn't have my crochet hook because, you know, I might knit and I might crochet, you know, a weapon or something. I'm not sure. But they let me have my plastic darning needle. And so I turned the darning needle into a crochet hook. 
So one of my challenges was going to be, you know, what else could I kind of MacGyver into, um, you know, knitting or crocheting tools. So, you know, just different fun things like that that I have planned. Uh, so, you know, you definitely want to stick around because I'm going to do something other than just wine. And also, you know, I'm at 1.5k watch hours. You know, again, we, we need to get to um, to 4, 4k. So if you could run my videos, I'd appreciate it. If you need your videos run, let me know. I've got a laptop dedicated specifically just to running people's playlists. It's, again, just broken, so you can't really do much else with it. Well, you can. You just have to be gentle. I can't, you know, move around with it a lot. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. If you need watch hours, let me know. I can, um, I can run it, and I actually have more than one YouTube account, so I can run them on a couple different accounts. And the only reason I have multiple YouTube accounts is because I have different Gmail accounts that are specific for certain things. And because Google owns YouTube, if you have a Gmail account, that Gmail account also has a YouTube account. So, you know, there's that. It's not like I created them just to game the system or anything. And so that I am going to try live again soon, maybe tomorrow. I don't have anything on my schedule tomorrow. I'm not planning on getting out and running errands. I might tomorrow afternoon run errands, but or tomorrow morning. One of the two, you know, I, I need to go to grocery shopping at some point, but it's not urgent. Um, but I want to try live again, and this one would be like a kind of a yarn and chat. You know, bring your, your projects and your questions and sit there and kind of like I did the Ask Me Anything. We'll do it again, but more in, you know, real time. So, you know. Just remember, for all you nerds out there, the answer is 42. It's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. And you get a bonus cookie if you know the reference. So. But anyway, least, okay, my lip balm. I've been, I'm working on, I make lip balm. It, it's beeswax and coconut oil and olive oil. And I'm working on a formula that I could do in the squeezy tube as opposed to just the regular chapstick tube. Just because, you know, I think it would be nice to have these kind. And this one, it has an adapter tip where you have this tiny little bit that comes out. Think like the, the, the medicated Blistex tubes that's in the little bitty foil tubes. And the lip balm is not quite thin enough to come out. See, you can see if it will. Let me get off my tail. You see, it comes like that. It's just slight, ever so slightly too thick. Now, it's great for it when you're in your pocket. It will get, it will come through there. If it's cold, it pops the adapter off. So I could use it without, the, I could still use the whole thing without the adapter. Just the little, I like that little tip in there. So my next batch, you know, I'm, I'll just add more of the, the liquid oil, liquid um, olive oil. I use extra virgin olive oil mix in with it too. I use a little bit more of that to make it softer. But this tube, because if it's warmer, I it, you know I can actually apply it without it popping the tip off. So I've been sitting on it, you know, having it under my leg on the chair so I have it ready. But every time I get up, like go to the bathroom, go to get something go to the kitchen, go get something drinking or whatnot, I come in and I see this laying on the chair and my first thought was, oh look, I have string cheese. I haven't bought string cheese. There's no string cheese in my house. I haven't bought string cheese in months. I love string cheese, but I just haven't bought it in months. Why do I think every time I walk in, my first thought is, oh, look, I have string cheese. I forgot about that. I, if there's string cheese in my house, someone broke in. So, yeah, there's that. But, you know, so that's one of my, my works in progress is figuring out you know, adjusting the formula or the recipe, you know, to get the, the softer one. 
but it's lavender and rosemary, and I like it. And if I get it on my hands, it's no big deal because I, when I fill the tubes, I take the leftover bit and I put it in little pots like this, and I use it for lotion because it, I mean, and it works really good. So anyway, on to the Arnie stuff. Oh, here's the, the card of can. We're making progress. We're only doing a couple rows. I'm just not, I'm kind, sometimes I get in the mood, but then I'm not, I don't stay in, you know, and then sometimes I'm not in the mood, so I switch between projects. But we're just doing a stockinette stitch, so it's just, I need to work on, I mean, if this is a project that I could actually take on the bus with me, or I could take to the laundromat, you know, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It's an easy project. It's not like I have to, there's a pattern that I will be following, but for the next, you know, 15 inches, I'm doing a stockinette stitch, so, you know, I can, I don't have to sit there and keep the, the pattern up where I can look at it. My other thing that I was doing is I was going to make that TARDIS washcloth, and then I, but you cast on, you started casting on, I think, 36 or 37 stitches, and I didn't realize how small that was going to be until I cast on 37 stitches and realized it was going to be the perfect size to hang in a dollhouse. And it would have made, I, you know, I could have made a coaster out of it for my drink, which today is fake orange, you know, squeezy fluid, squeezy stuff that hit in there. It's the Walmart version. Um, but I didn't want to sit there, you know, like, okay, well, and I know I'm supposed to be dealing with it. But I decided I did not want to make dollhouse art. So, I figured, okay, I would just start with, I looked at a couple of different patterns for making washcloths, and they looked pretty, looked decent. And I tried a couple of them, and then I was like, not with yarn this tiny. I need to get used to yarn this tiny, because it's like embroidery, slightly larger than embroidery threads, what it feels like. Okay, well. You see it with them? Because I love this. It's a size three hook, uh, three to 3.125 millimeter hook, the D. It's itty bitty. I mean, I've seen toothpicks bigger than this thing. Um, so what I'm doing is basically I just start, okay, well, I'm going to work on a single crochet and just kind of get, you know, used to working with it and see what comes up. So I've got, you know, just the general, come on. Wants to curl anyway. Just single stitch, crochet stitch. But I decided what I'm going to do, because it says cotton, and I was going to make a washcloth, is I'm going to end up, I'm going to make a soap sock. So I'm just going to work on it, get the shape of the, the shape of the soap sock. I tell you, when I was a kid, I had problems with SH sounds, and they all came out S sounds, and I sometimes, that's, Still something that will trip me up is going between S's and SH's. So, don't ask me about Sally selling seashells by the seashore. Because that's about as fast as I will speak. But anyway, so I'm going to get the shape down first. Which is basically just a little rectangle pouch. But I want, but since I'm not following a pattern and I'm doing this all on my own. Yay me. Um... I kind of have to experiment with it first and get the, but I want to get the shape of it down. And once I get the shape down, then I can go right back and experiment with stitches and do like, you know, double stitches or, you know, puff stitches or, you know, whatever I want to make it where it's a good scrubby. But when I make a soap, you know, where you put the sock inside, you know, drawstring, fit shut, you know. I'm sure we can all just assume what a soap sock is. I mean, it's not like, you know, a bar of soap in the sock and beat someone with it because they use master locks for those not sock not soap they were as a prison guard um so anyway so that's where i am those are the two things i've done today that and i've been playing on youtube and visiting people on youtube and emailing and oh speaking of email i actually have my first two customers for that people have reached out to me to purchase um scrunchies and 
someone actually requested to purchase lip balm. So I'm just really excited because I honestly didn't expect anything to come of it. You know, I mean, not to get all sad and Debbie Downer on you, but, you know, I kind of, my childhood taught me you don't really get your hopes up. So, and I guess kind of the, the neat thing about never getting my hopes up is when something actually goes my way, it's really freaking cool. Because, you know, and I know that my life is not you know, like 44 years of suck, but it's still, I'm jaded and, what is it, cynical and pessimistic. And you guys keep surprising me and, and making me, giving me glimpses of, thing, of a life that's not jaded and cynical. And it's neat. And I may never get on that side of the wall, but at least there's a window in the wall and I can see through and I can open the window, stick my head in and then come back to my hermit side but you know it's great and i love i love this community and i'm so tickled that i met someone kind of after come across her and i'm not sure where i found her and i'll have to put the link down below you guys need to check her out it's the um the creative creative mommy creative mom i'll find her i found her and i i introduced her to noni so yeah so i had she and i saw her in a live and so it was great. Um, so she's new. She's 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 really new. So we go check her out. Show her some love. And welcome her to the community. So anyway, this video has gone long enough with me not really talking or talking about a whole lot of nothing. So anyways, I'm glad that you guys came. Um, again, if this was your first time here, I promise it's not always me being this basic. It's about 90% me being this basic. But there are other things that I do on here. And other things that I'm planning so stick around and make sure you hit that subscribe button and put the hit the bell so that you can get notifications when I post videos and when I actually get around to doing another live so you'd see it and so maybe Noni you won't miss it this next time so anyway love you guys thanks for hanging around and putting up with me and I will see you tomorrow